Hey everyone, it's Joe from The Automator, and I'm talking to Jean Alain, the author of QAP, which the link above me here will take you to his website. Thank and you. I had reached out to him. How's it going, Jean? It's good good having you here. He, Jean's led a lot of webinars for us and stuff, right? He's, he's an amazing guy. And his tool, which of course I'm a huge fan of because I use it day in, day out, is just amazing. And I said, you know, I know I use a fraction of what its powers are, but I said, Jean, what, what's like the hidden gem of like, you know, what am I not using that I should be using? And what were you telling me about? Yeah, and I think it's, it's something that a lot of users do not use because it's not something that is that you see at first. But when you take the time to discover that there's a lot of features, it's called the alternative menu. So instead of opening your menu with the regular hot key, which is by default the middle mouse button, you just press shift and hit this button, and then it opens a menu with a lot of other features. And, and the reason for this menu is at the time it was uh, folders pop up, then pre the ancestor, if you wish, of quick, quick access pop up. Users would ask, could I do something else with the menu? For example, if I open a menu with an application, would there be a way to launch this application as administrator, for example, mm -hmm. instead of regular privileges with some odd key or trick? So, and there were different suggestions like that. And it made me think when I uh, upgraded from folders pop up to quick access pop up, one of the, of the things that was added was this alternative menu that opened other actions that you can take on your menu items. And that's, and I will show you how you can use it. Joe, I'm sure you will find some good use for that. Yeah, I'll share my screen. So I press the middle mouse button, it opens the regular menu, okay? But if I press shift and middle mouse menu, it opens this alternative menu with eight or nine features that I can explain briefly. For example, here this open in new menu, you, you know that if you open the regular menu in a Windows Explorer window or in the file dialog box, it will open the folder in the same window. But sometimes it's not what you want. You just want it to be open in a new window. So if you select the same item after having selected open in a new window, it will open this menu this uh, this this window oh. in another so you can do copy and paste from one and the other like this so just one of the features that were requested at that time so again you press shift um shift middle mouse button then you select and any item here and after that it will display the regular menu where you can select on which of your menu you want to do something let me give you another example I'm opening here the regular menu and I have this item here, which is called Lorem Ipsum. And I want to edit it, for example, to give it a new icon or any change I want to do. So of course I could open the customize window and go to that item, press the edit button and all that. But what you can also do with the shift middle mouse button, you select the edit favorite item and then I do it a little more slowly. So you know, when you click it, it will open the regular menu with this message here that says, select the, the favorite to edit. And now in this menu, I select lorem ipsum and it will not open the file itself. It will open the quick access pop-up customized window with this favorite ready to be edited where I could, for example, mm -hmm. select another icon for this. Uh, let me select, uh, which one will I use? I'll use this one here. And save when you want to do something differently than just opening the uh, the the favorite. That's what you. Uh, that's one of, one of the things that you can do. Uh, briefly, you can also open an item with the run and admi as administrator uh, privileges. For example, if I open Notepad here, I'm just opening it now in the regular menu. Okay, and if I open a file that is under the Windows folder. There's this file here that is a text file. It's a log file under the Windows folder. Normally, you would not say you would not modify this file, and Windows will prevent you from doing that. For example, if I type something here and try to save this file, it will not save the file. It will open the save. It will open the save as, uh, telling me you cannot change this file, but you can save it somewhere else if you wish. But 
if I know what I'm doing, if I am a system administrator and I know I have to change this file that is protected, I will just close this one here. I can open the same application in my quick access pop-up menu, but with elevated privileges by doing first shift middle mouse, run as, a, as administrator, and then in the menu, I select with the instruction here telling me, select the application to run in elevated mode. I select notepad and it will show me the, um, the confirmation where I want to run this application in admin mode. And when I say yes, it's now open in admin mode. There's nothing telling it to me in notepad. Some application will tell you, you are running in uh, elevated mode. But if I open the same file here and change it, now I can save the file directly because I have the right of doing this because I'm running as an administrator. So again, it's just a different way to use an item in your menu that you select in a preliminary menu. Maybe that's the name we could have used for that. Okay. So what is called the alternative menu. Here, this one, I can show it quickly, open the containing folder in the current window. So in this window here, let's say I'm, I'm, I'm here and I want to open the folder containing one of my favorites. So I select open containing folder and I select here my lorem ipsum file and it will not open the file. In this case, it will open the folder containing this file, which is this one here. So another way to go to, so it depends on your intention. And finally, the last item that was added in the latest release, uh, 1157, just released uh, last week, there's these two new features, move the selected file to a favorite folder or copy the selected file to a favorite folder. So for example, if I go in my source folder, uh, first I show you in my menu, I have a source, folder here, I will add a destination folder. I will add this folder here as a destination. So I will, to do that, just as another shortcut that I take the, the opportunity to demonstrate is the context menu that you have on every folder and every documents in Windows Explorer, when you can, where you can add an item directly to your quick access pop-up menu. So I am adding this demo that I would just rename destination. And uh, I will put it just below source folder, close. So here I have source and destination. So I'll open the source folder and I will take this file here and I will move it to one of the folder in my menu, okay? So I press shift middle mouse, move the selected file to a favorite folder. And then I select my destination folder. That could be any folder that exists in your menu. It could be in the sub menu, it depends how you structure your, your QAP menu. That. Yeah. yeah, it could be anywhere. I just show it in the main menu for now, just for uh, it to ease the demonstration. But if I select here destination, oh, and before doing that, I will just, let me just, open in a new window, the destination so that we can see it live. Let me just split this like this. Okay, so I want to move this file here. So this file has to be selected, okay, first. Then I shift middle mouse, select move the file. And I select here the destination. It could be any folder in my menu. I select destination, which was the one that you will see on the right side. And it will take the file and just move it here. If you had multiple files selected, did move all of them? Wait for the next release. <laughs> <laughs> I knew Sorry. you Sorry. would ask for that. And other users also ask for that. I just launched it with single selection, yeah. but it's uh, it's already almost done. It will be next release, so uh, probably it will be uh, eleven five point seven point one. That will be just this addition, because yes, that's logical that you can do that, and you can do that do that on folders, also. So just only on files. So I could select here the quick access pop up folder, select copy. So I will shift middle mouse copy the selected file. I didn't say file or folder. I didn't want 
the menu name to be very long, but a folder is also a file in some way. So here I will select the same destination menu and you will see Wait. this folder being copied now in this menu. Maybe you can even just say move selected. Selected item, maybe. Oh, 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 oh. Um, yeah, yeah. So one thing I, I want to bring, because it was a little confusing to me, just because I use QAP a lot. And to me, can you bring up your alternative menu? Yep. I think the, my, I, I skipped one I want to explain to you, but first I... What's yeah, real question? quickly here. In yeah. my brain, because I see this list, to me, I should be able to go in and customize what's in here. But it sounds like... These are things that are hard coded, yeah. kind of, they're the options that are available. And yeah, it's not a customized menu except for shortcuts that I will show you oh, okay. in a minute. Yeah. One thing I, I skipped one of the items here, I skipped the copy a favorite path or URL. Uh, I know, Joe, that you use snippets to put URLs in these snippets, a you lot. know? Yes. But yeah. if you would have these URLs in a link favorite folder, for example, here, this is a link favorite folder. So if I, and I just press my a sh little shortcut here to edit and I'll show you what shortcut I use in a minute. So it opened, so this is a link and it contains a URL. Mm -hmm. But sometime if what I want is just to copy the URL in my clipboard, in order to be able to paste it somewhere, sure. what I can do is select shift middle mouse and I select copy a favorite path or URL. And then I select the favorite that I want. And this favorite is now copied in my clipboard. If I open quick access clipboard, my new tool that is in beta development now, you see it, it shows that the clipboard contain the URL of my uh, favorite. So it works for path of file. It even works for um, for snippets. If you want to copy the content of a snippet in the clipboard, I think I have a snippet here. Let me just close this. Okay, I have to start over. Copy snippet. And there's an item here which... <laughs> <laughs> Conflict yeah. of window. Okay, snippet example, a very short example, which is now copied in my clipboard. If I open my clipboard uh, editor, you see that's the content of the snippet that has been pasted to the clipboard. And of course, now so, I can paste it anywhere else I want to use it. For those that aren't aware of your QAC, the clipboard tool, it's displaying what's in your clipboard automatically. He's, you know, so that just if people didn't understand that, it, it yeah. Becomes what you're doing. It's not part of Quick Access Pop-Up. It's another tool I'm developing in beta mode, so it's not much promoted now, but it allows to edit the clipboard, do various things like find and replace, change case, and there's also a rule manager. That's not the goal of this video, but no, why I, not? I, just, I don't want people to say, <laughs> like, why are, why are you showing that tool? It's not. It's just an easy way to show what's on the clipboard. Yeah, yeah, that's what I wanted to do. I could have just pasted it in Notepad also to show it. So that's the, um, oh. you said, can, can I customize it? Yes, you can in some way. So if we open the quick access pop-up customize window and go in options, first you can customize what hotkey will open the alternative menu. Here under pop-up hotkey, the first one here, the first two ones are the one that will open your regular menu that maybe you change depending on your preferences. But there's also, just below, alternate, alternative menu mouse button and alternate menu, alternative menu keyboard shortcut. And by default, it is just shift with the same shortcut that you have here, but it could be different. You can change it the way you wish. You press change here, you, you select another mouse button or here you select another keyboard Maybe I want shortcut. alt with the, the hot key, whatever. As you, yeah. So, um, so that's the first thing. Second thing, if you go under Alternative menu add key. Here there's a lot of stuff and I'll just take the time to explain it correctly. So for each of the features that we've seen, open a new, new window, copy to the clipboard, move the file, you can select a hotkey and a keyboard modifier. What? And there are two different things. Let me first talk about the hotkey and I will use as an example, the edit favorite. So I will click here on none to set a hotkey for this alternative menu feature. And I will use shift control Z 
as an example, okay? What it will do, it will open, it will bypass the first step. So instead of having to open the alternative menu to say, I want to edit a favorite, and then to say which favorite you want, you want to edit, oh. it will directly open your Option, yeah. Your uh, your main menu. I will just clean the space here, oh, Joe. Like so menu. if I yeah. do, inst sure. so I selected the keyboard shortcut. It could be a mouse shortcut if you have many buttons of your mouse. So I press Shift Control Z, and then it opened directly my menu with the indication at the bottom that I have to select a favorite to edit, and I select my uh, let's say Lorem Ipsum again, and it opens the customized window for this favorite year. So it's an example of what you can do if you use frequently something, you can assign uh, yeah, I a key see, for that. Uh, yeah, that looks to me much more intuitive and it's something yeah. that I would do a lot. I'd pick one of these things and yeah. assign a hotkey to And them. you can assign a mouse button and a combination of mouse button with uh, mod keyboard modifiers or shift control alt, etc. So that's one of the things that you can do. The other thing that I really like for, and especially for this one here, it is that a modifier or a combination of keys that I can press after the menu is already open. For example, here I have left shift, left control. So if I press left shift and left control after the menu is already open. Yep. So I'm opening the regular menu here, middle mouse button, regular menu, and I want to edit my notepad favorite. If I, if I had to use the alternative menu, I would have to close this and open shift and do all this. But what I can do if it is already there is just to press shift and control because that is the modifiers that I have in my options and select my item here and it will open it directly. That is honestly, I, I see at first I didn't understand it, but that is really powerful. That's the most powerful way to use it. It's yeah. just harder to remember if you do right. not use it often. I, so it is for things that you would use often. And I often edit my favorite. So frequently I will open this and say, I want to change the icon or just change the path of something. Uh, in, and you do it on the fly that, that way you don't have to open the customized window, select your favorite, click edit button. You just yeah. go there directly. So that's one of the things that you can do. Same thing if you, so I'm returning to the alternative menu at key, same thing. And you see there are three at keys that are technically usable for that. The left, uh, not uh, six, the left shift, and let me show it to you. Left control, right shift. Yeah. So it's it's only, okay, it's only shift. Let remind me. It's only shift and um, control that can be used to do these things. The alt key cannot be used for that because the alt key is closing the menu. That's a Windows built-in feature. If you press alt, it just closes the menu. So there's nothing doable with that. Well, it's so, accessing, anyway, yeah. Yeah, I but let, let me show you. If I open the menu here, I press Alt, it closes the menu. Well, because doesn't it, it tries to activate whatever tool you're in to, to get to the menu. It's, it's the way Windows behaves. For okay. I don't know the reason, maybe you're right, but I just know that there's no way to activate or, or command something else after because the menu is just closed and quick access pop-up has no information about what was in, cool. yeah. So it leaves you with two uh, shift and control, but you have you can differentiate the left and the right. So that's how you can here select one of these six combinations, left shift only, uh, left control only, left shift and left control, that's the one I'm using here, or the same thing on the right, which is less convenient for me because I handle my mouse with my right hand. So my left hand is available to select shift or right or combination. So for those that I would use frequently, I would use these two. And for example, if you want to copy a favorite, for example, if you have uh, URLs, links in your menu that you want to copy to the clipboard, you, to could, open, right. you could select here, uh, just shift, left shift. If I try to do that now, it will tell me there's a problem because left shift is used twice and QEP does not do the, the verification. So it lets you uh, say that for this one, I will select none here and I will use less shift for this one here, save it. And now if I open my, my menu and I want to copy the URL, and, Boy, let me, let me I, show I, you what it will do in quick access clipboard. 
So uh, I open the menu and select, select left shift for this and it will copy the URL to my clipboard. And, and that's where if you're using QAP to launch a lot of tools, that run as admin, you know, ability to very simply select it here and hit that hotkey and bam, you, you automatically launch it as yeah. admin. That's awesome. It's a, it's a, an additional time saver to this time saver tool. Right. <laughs> yeah. right. And, and finally, just a word about this option here below. Show notification when using alternative oh, menu. Cool. You've Good. seen that this window yes. here that was annoying at some point. Right. Because when you know what it does, you don't need to have this right. reminder. You need it at the beginning. So after some time, you can just uncheck this. It will not show anymore this pop-up window here. You have a link to the help page because this is quite complex. It can help to have access to the, the help page on Quick Access Pop-Up website. And finally, you have uh, these two buttons here, Reset, Save Modifiers, my uh, knowledge base page about the alternative menu features. Let me close it. So here you have the Reset, Save Modifiers. So it will reset. If you change thing and you don't want to save it, you just press Reset and it will return to what, what it was when you open the menu. And you can also reset the default modifiers, which will just put back what were the modifiers here, because it can be long to just reselect it if you want to start over and, and start from the beginning. And then and you can select these uh, shortcuts here uh, for any of the alternative features. So that's how you can use awesome. this hidden gem, as you said, which so, is the alternative uh, menu. Yeah, obviously, I mean, I think anyone watching this point now, they're already QAP users, right? But that, that's very cool that it has that built into it. I, I didn't know that was there. Yeah. Thank you, John. Thank you, Joe.